everyone, I'm Jamie from Undercover Monsters, and today I'm gonna to show you how to take this bag of spider webs and turn it into this. Okay, so since I'm doing this outside, all I need today is this bag of spider webs and a pair of scissors. If you're doing it inside, I would suggest to use thumbtacks over tape because the thumbtacks will hold the spider web in place a lot better than tape will. Okay, let's start. So this is the $2 bag of spider webs that I got from Walmart. I would suggest the $2 bag over the dollar bag because the dollar bag just doesn't stretch as nice as this one does. If you read the directions on the back of the bag, it tells you what to do. A lot of people don't like to read the directions, so I'm just gonna show you. Usually when people get spider webs, the first thing they wanna do is pull some off. I can't even do it. But they pull it off like this, and they try to pull it, and they try to make it look like a spider web, and it always ends up looking like this big clump. So instead, you take the spider web completely out of the bag, and you measure it for how big you wanna do. So I'm gonna do this little area between the poles. So I'm gonna bring it on this side and stretch it all the way over as far as I think it's gonna be. Since it fell down a little bit on that side, I'm just gonna make it a little bigger than the pole and cut it. and throw the leftovers aside. Now once you cut it, you just take the end of it and you pull it a little bit and you find the top corner and make it real thin, just like this. So I'm gonna take this top corner attach it to the top of where you want it to be. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take it, pull it. And then I'm gonna attach it to the top in the middle too, just to secure it all into place. Okay, now that we have it all attached to the top, if you're doing it like this, I would advise to do a ladder so that you don't get hurt. But I'm going to take the middle and I'm gonna pull it straight down. And just pull down on the sides, pull up and just start attaching it to anything you can attach it to. I like to pull them really thin so that they look more realistic. I'll tie it in knots sometimes, just to hold on to my spot. This middle, you can usually pull it down a few times. Just stretch it way out and take it. And I'm gonna put it down on the inside just to add some depth in the spider web. Again, make it look more realistic. Just grab and pull and wrap. Anywhere that looks thick, just grab it and pull it and wrap it around something. Don't be afraid to knot it.
I'm being pretty rough with this too. I'm almost punching holes through the middle of it just to make it look more authentic. Okay everyone, so that's how you put up spider webs. Just remember, the more you stretch them out, the more realistic they'll look. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and make sure to give us a thumbs up if our video helped you out. Bye everyone, peace out.